Welcome back to my channel. My name is Miss Campbell and today I'm going to give you a tutorial on how to create your own flashcards in Canva. I recently created a resource to help homeschool parents and teachers to help their children learn the alphabet and I created a bundle that has letters with corresponding images and the great part about this resource is that I use real images so that students can make real world connections with what they're learning and with what they see in the real world. Here's an example of how I use the flashcards that I'm going to teach you how to create. And my student is simply sorting the images to the letters. And this is a great activity to practice phonological awareness. And sorting is a really great activity in general, especially for pre-K and kindergarten students and even first grade students. Put the pictures where they belong. So what letter is this? T. A. S. So what sound do these letters make? T. A. S. Okay, so now I want you to say each of the cards and then put them where they belong. Okay. Apple. Tomato. Sandwich. Good job. Salad. Tit. So without any further ado, let's go ahead and hop into Canva. And we are going to go ahead and create a design and click on worksheet, which is the eight and a half by 11 inch standard page. So once we have Canva open, we're going to go ahead and go to the left side and click on elements and you'll see that it says table right here. If it doesn't say table, then you're going to just go ahead and scroll down to you see tables and click this first one. So I am going to go ahead and make it a little bit bigger so you can see it. We actually don't want this many boxes. So we're going to click on the three little dots and we're going to go to delete column. And then we're gonna click again and click delete row because I just want six boxes. All you have to do is click on the corner and just drag it out so that you can make it the size that you would like. And I like how they have the red lines to show you and guide you to like it's like an inside rectangle so i'm going to go ahead and make my table that big and i want to go ahead and also make the lines thicker so we're going to just click on border at the top left and click on the border style and make it a little bit bigger a little thicker by just sliding this bar or you can just click in here and i'll click seven and you'll notice that it only made that box that border style. So you have to make sure that you click the entire box. So I just pressed my mouse pad down and selected all of them. And we'll try that again. So we'll click on border weight and type in seven. Okay, so now that is how I want my boxes to be. So we're going to go ahead and add a text box and I'm going to add the letter T because we're going to make images that start with the letter T and you'll notice here, I'll zoom in for you, that this is not a T that I really want my students to be looking at because it has that little curve at the bottom and I just want a standard T. So I'm going to go ahead and select this T and select a font that is great for kids. And the font that I always use is called KG Primary Penmanship. And then we're going to go ahead and make this bigger. So in order to make it bigger, you just click on it and then you can either drag it or go up here and select whatever size you want. I picked 100, but that's still not big enough, so I'm going to just drag it here. So we have T. So I am using uppercase and lowercase letters because I want my students to 
practice with both of them. So now we're going to go to our boxes and start filling them up. So we go to element and search on table because I want to include a table for my flashcard. So I'm going to just scroll down and remember how I said that they have like cartoon images that you can use. I don't want to use that. So I'm in photos, but if I wanted to, I would go to graphics and then th these are how the cartoon tables look, but I want a real table. And then I'm going to scroll down to see which one I like. And I do like this table. Okay, so we're gonna just put this table in there and then make it a little bit smaller so that it could fit in there properly. Okay, so another T word would be like turtle. So we'll continue to search for turtle. And I think I like, which turtle? I think I like this turtle. Okay, so some of these images that I'm choosing um, are not the same as the actual alphabet flashcards that I created, but that's okay. I just wanna show you how to do it yourself. And then for T, what's another T word? How about tent? So we can find tent, I like this tent. So we'll just fill it in here. And then another T word is taco. and tomato. One thing I do want to point out is that you want to use images that have like a lot of color because children like to see color when they are learning and it just makes it a little bit more engaging. Like I would even say that this set of flashcards is not really that colorful. I would probably try to, you know, maybe, actually it looks fine, but maybe you try to find a table that's a brighter color and not just brown. But anyways, this is fine. And so this is a very simple way of creating flashcards. Now, if you wanted to actually use a template that they have, you can just go to design and click flashcards and then you can see that they have flashcards in here if that is something that you were interested in doing where you have kind of like a design that you can work from and then you can change out the images and just like kind of make your own flashcards if you wanted to. I really hope you enjoyed this video. I will go ahead and link my Alphabet Essentials bundle in the description box, just in case you wanted to see more of the flashcards that I created, or if you want to use them for your own students or your child at home, if you're homeschooling, you can go ahead and download those cards. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comment box. And I hope to bring you some more Canva tutorials so that you can create your own resources if that's something that you're interested in. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel and like this video. I would really appreciate it. And I will catch you in the next one.